everybody. I want to show you guys today how to roll back your X Hubson app for Android. If you're having issues with antivirus detection, malware detection, or the app is crashing where you've updated the app and now it doesn't want to run, or you just want to go back to an older version, I'm going to show you how to do that today. The first thing you need to do is you need to stop the app and uninstall it from your phone. So we'll go into the settings of our phone and then we're going to go to application manager. And then you want to find the app, which is X Hubson. And you want to force stop it. If this was highlighted, we'd force stop it. Force stop and stops the app. A lot of people complain that after they use the app that their screen stay lit up or their battery life just falls away or anything like that when you're done using the X Hubson app like after you're done flying you need to force stop the app so that way it closes and it stops running or it'll continue to run in the background wasting your battery your data everything like that if you're having issues where the app crashes then we need to proceed with the uninstall and roll back the app so we're gonna uninstall the app After the uninstall is finished, like it just says, you need to restart your device. Restarting your device is going to wipe the app completely out of your phone. After it's completely wiped after your phone and you've restarted your phone or your tablet, you need to actually download the older version. To download the older version, you want to open up your internet browser and go to apkpure.com. You need to punch in X Hubson app. Oh, Hubson. Click on X Hubson app. The latest version they have available is 1.3.5. If you scroll down, you can select from versions 1.3.5, versions 1.3.4 version 1.3.3 and so on and so forth so there's even more further back I'm going to go ahead and pick version 1.3.1 there's a reason I picked this version and I will have another video coming up in the future showing you why I picked this version and what this version will do that others will not uh, so keep an eye out for that it'll be coming up in a later video so we're gonna download this APK it automatically starts downloading once you click on it. We wait for it to download. We no longer need our web, our web browser. So after it's downloaded, you wanna go into your file section of your phone and find your download history. And we have our X Hubson version 1.3.1 at the top. Click on it. Now, a lot of people, if you don't have, if you haven't selected this in your settings where you're not, they want you to basically install every app on your phone must come from the Google Play Store. Um, this is known as sideloading an app. Uh, it's, there are issues with it if you don't run antiviruses or anything like that. Um, as you can see, I have a antivirus running in the background and everything's good. Um, so you click on settings now you can click on unknown sources where this is going to allow for this installation only um, if you want to allow continuous installation then you unclick that and it will continue to download and allow you to install from unknown sources we're going to go ahead and do this for this one only this is the list of permissions that the app needs access to and we're going to go with the install. It's installing. It doesn't take usually too long, a minute or two at the most. After it installs, it's going to ask you if you're done or if you wish to open the app. We're going to go ahead and open the app to make sure we have the correct version. And it actually, the app actually opens. Oh. And there we go. We are in the app. Let's see what version we get. Yeah. 
and we have version 1.3.1 so that's how you roll back your app you can pick from any of the versions that are on the apkpure.com website um, if you're having issues where you've where you've upgraded your app and now it's crashing or if you're getting continuous antivirus pop-ups I recommend that you roll back the app if you're just having issues where your screen won't time out after you've flown or after you've opened the app I recommend that you just go into the application manager and just force stop the app after every flight um, again like I said there's a reason why I picked the version 1.3.1 uh, X helps in that and I will uh, show that in an upcoming video uh, this is quads and mods and I'm signing off get you some